one, two, three, four. Hello, welcome to User Experience and Interaction Design. My name's Will and I'm the Unit Coordinator. Um, let me tell you a little bit about this unit, what it's about and how it's going to work. So very rarely do we actually write computer programs just for the sake of writing them, just for the sheer beauty of having built a computer program. Usually we build them to solve problems for people. And so that means the interaction between our program and the people that want to work with it matters. Uh, so if you can imagine by now, hopefully you know how to program reasonably well. So hopefully now writing the code isn't the hard bit. The hard bit is what should this do? How should it work? Can my users understand that? Can they work with that? How do they relate to my program? How does the surrounding context of their work and what they're going to use this for, how does that all feed into what I design? And so that's the sort of thing that this unit is hopefully going to help you with. Like most of our computer un computing units here at UNE, there is some programming involved. We don't want to treat this just as a dry topic that we read about. Instead, I would like you to build some technology and try it out with people. And so we're going to have a, a design experience going through the co uh, course, uh, including having your work critiqued by other students and critiquing theirs so that you can learn not just from the design problems that you face, but from the design problems that each other faces. Um, this term it's a new program here at UNE in computing, and so we are frantically writing things as we go. So it may feel a little bit like um, the Wallace and Gromit, uh, where Gromit is riding the back of the toy train and he's busily laying the track out in front of him. Most of the teaching for this unit, the content delivery, will be done via the videos, and we'll try to build up the notes as we go. I might try a few experiments uh, with that as well, um, but so please pay attention to the videos because they're going to be the main form of uh, content delivery. Also, because this is a 300, 500 level unit, um, although I'm going to hopefully get you to build some Android technology and I'm going to run some tutorials to teach you a little bit about Android programming, we're not going to treat it like those early programming units where we go step by step through the entire business of how you develop for this platform. There are plenty of resources out there on the web already, uh, lots of brilliant tutorials, and uh, we're going to hopefully do it a little bit more as programmers do in the real world, that you will we'll give you a bit of an introduction, get you started, and then you will be finding things out as you go from the many and varied resources there are around there. It's also the first time we've tried doing Android development uh, in a course at UNE. And uh, it's kind of a bit of an interesting one for us because we have students as far afield as Canada and they log in via X2Go to do their development sometimes on Turing, on the server, uh, private cloud here at UNE. Um, but of course, if you have one, your Android device is plugged into your computer at home, is not plugged into Turing. Um, so there is an emulator that's on Turing, but that's not going to be perfect. There's some things you can't really do as easily with the emulator, like you cannot design an app that involves shaking things around and actually pick the thing up and shake it around the way you can with a device. Um, so because all this is a little bit experimental, we're not going to strictly require that you do stuff using Android. I'm going to try and teach you some Android, um, but we'll kind of have an escape clause that if you find that for various reasons you need to do your application that you want to design and try out with users in a different way, uh, we'll try and make it possible for, uh, for you to do that. Uh, but we would like it to work on a mobile device in a mobile context with the idea of the many and varied sensors um, that are available to programs today. I've made this much longer than I originally intended, so I'm going to sign off there and I will talk to you more in the lectures which start next week. So uh, welcome and uh, although I can't say good to see you because I can't see you yet, uh, good to be seen by you. <laughs>